In this video, we're going to focus on how we can use a scatter chart and convert these scattered dots to make a nice line chart, which is very, very useful because as you can see here now, we can create a nice line chart, but the structure of this line chart will depend on your data. So the chronological order of the lines will depend on the data you provide. As you can see here, we get here this extremely unique shape. So let's explore this more. In this video, we're going to answer one of the viewers' question, which is how to create a scatter line chart in Chart.js. Or more specifically, how can we create a line chart that will start somewhere midway of a chart, but this is based on the scatter chart structuring. So let's start to work on this, because this question didn't came on one of my videos, but it came from my email. So what we're going to do here basically is going to cover this specific topic because a default line chart will not always work if you want to start somewhere halfway on your chart. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start with that. First thing what we need is we need to go to chartjs3.com getting started to get a default code here. If you see this, for some reason, my Google Chrome gives us error on this specific laptop or MacBook, but not on my other. Why? I so far have tried to figure out, but I cannot find the answer. However, it works fine. And all we need here basically is this chunk of code that we need to copy. So we want to copy this code. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video that explains the JavaScript in that code. So what I'm going to do here now is going to paste this in here. And then once I paste that in there, I'm going to put this in here and then save this and refresh. And there we are. So now we have a default bar chart let's convert this into a line chart first so because it was the issue here eventually i'm going to convert this into a type type line so if i save this and convert this you can see here the default is always starting at the beginning and if you would have for example this instead of here maybe you want to have one and you can see based on this it becomes a scatter structure already if we do it like this so just, I'm just going to give these numbers and I realize I have one double and this is four and finally we have here seven. So if I save this refresh, you can see here now, this here indirectly is a scatter chart, but imagine you want to start here at number three. So what happens if you do this number three here, refresh, of course this will not work because we get this, uh, this label here will be converted into label three instead of number one. So what we need to do here is to create a scatter chart. A scatter chart doesn't work with labels. So with this, we can remove this now. But of course, as well, here our data set must be different as well. So what I'm going to do here, first of all, is convert the type into a scatter chart. So if I save this now and refresh, you can see now we start to get this. But a scatter chart by default doesn't combine the values in a line. So what we're going to do here is let's make here a certain structure. We can just grab this here and we need to change the structure into an X and Y structure. So we say here data and then here we put in this and then we put in your query braces and then we can say here X. X could be, let's say, well, we want to start here at number three. So X equals three comma Y would be the value here. So this would be number 18. So once we did that, all we have to do here, I'm going to put in here an extra space, put a comma here. I'm going to duplicate this multiple times because we will need this six more times uh, extra or so in total seven data points. So let's put it on two. That is again three. I'm just going to copy this structure here. Now we have here four, five, six, seven. And then here, 18, 12, and then six, nine, 12, three, and nine. So if I save this now and refresh, oh, let's see what's going on here. I get some errors. What am I missing? Unexpected identifier on 666. All right, that's, or sorry, 66, which is a comma here. That's what we need. All right, refresh here. Now you can see here we have this, but of course we're still not done here because we don't have our line here. What I want to do here is first of all, let's get the blue line. That's probably a nice one. I'm going to delete everything else here. So it's just only one single line here and it's going to copy this for the border line as well so i'm going to grab all of this paste this in here and make sure that the border is number one as a full color the border width can be removed because we will be using it later on all right so now we have everything in blue how do we start to 
make a line out of it. Luckily, it's quite straightforward. All we have to do here is say show line, and then we set even true. The moment we do this and save this, refresh, and you can see here now what is happening. Pay attention, it will follow the structure of this. So your lines must be here chronologically in right order, or else you get, of course, a wrong structure. But you can see here now, we have this nice, can we make this still elastic? Well, let's say here, uh, tension. Let's put the tension on 0 0.4, see if this works. Save that, refresh, and now you can see here, now we get a more elastic line with nice rounded curves here, which create beautiful a order or structure. So if you can move this here, let's put this number two, or what is this? This is number 12 here. Uh, well, that's the number two, of course. What we can do here, you can see you begin at zero, and we have the begin here, the X value should maybe also begin at zero. So we're going to copy this, we say X, then we copy here, we say uh, begin at zero equals true for the X scale as well. Save this, refresh. There we are, so now we have changes as well, we can control this as well. There we are. What if we want to have another one, of course, what we could do is just quickly just copy the data set here. So this is an array, so data set array number two, which would mean here, well, let's say here, this is the blue line, blue line, and then of course we have a, oh, sorry, and then we have here the red line. This one might be different, you will see here, let's make this exactly the opposite, so we'll start somewhere at the very end, and then go back here. So we can say here, this would be, uh, right now it's seven, but we can put in any value, let's make it nine, eight, seven, and then let's say uh, 6.5. We say here 5.5, and then maybe we can go back to six, and then we have here seven again. And this one would have a different value, let's make this nine, and this one would be 12. This one, we can maintain at six, and then we have here 15, and we say here again six, three, and then here again six. Save this. Refresh, you can see here what's going on. This line here, of course, I guess it's very hard to see. Let's make this a red line first. Uh, let's say 200 here, and this I will make this and this. All right. So what happened here? This is the RGB color. The first one is R, stands for red. Save that. Refresh. There you are. So you can see here, as you can see, it starts here, goes there, goes there, and then makes this circle, and then loops back here. And that's basically what we did here. We just play around here with some of these items here, but you can see the starting point is there. Of course, these scatter line charts can create a very weird shape if you don't have a proper uh, line item or formula. So that's why this is probably very good if you have like a, uh, a formula in here, y equals x amount, and then you can multiply that. So that's basically the most important part for this. So if you are interested in this even more i would highly recommend you as well to check out the data structures and data structures is very similar to what we have here but i would highly recommend you to check out this one because with this you can do even more advanced items you can play around even more so definitely recommend it to check out this